going to do a quick um, video on bagging your apples. Now, this is my first time doing it. I'm going to see how this goes. But last year, um, well, the, the year before we had wonderful harvest. Last year we had a real problem with worms and stuff in our apples. And so, oops, sorry. And this is so bright I can't tell if my photography is good or not. But anyway, I've got some sit some cheap sandwich bags and you can do this with paper bags too but it just seems kind of silly to me to do it in a paper bag and what you do is you cut the corners off just a little bit so moisture can escape but you don't want it to be too small you cut off the bottom and you do this and you're supposed to trim it so there's only what they call the king apple on each spot um, but um, I'm a rebel I'm gonna kind of experiment with this and so on a lot of these, let's see if I can find a good example, I've left two. So one un, one exposed and one not. Um, I don't really want to be doing spraying and stuff all the time and it's taking quite a bit of time but it'll be worth it. I will say I have all of these chives here and the bees really love them which is great for pollination. I really don't like having them so close to me when um, I'm doing this. They're just I grabbed one and I didn't get stung but it was like Whoa! so anyway I'm gonna try and follow up with this as the season progresses and see how they're doing but this is my quick update on bagging apples what do you think have you tried it how do you keep worms out of your apples and how do you thin it